Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Symphonics channel. Today we're building the RG Double Quanta, the full saber version. So this is a premium Bandai, and basically just a RG regular Double Quanta, and just added a full saber equipment. And you know, this is actually, uh, although people said, well, it's not worth me to buy it. I, uh, what I'm saying is, this mobile, this what, this uh, like a sort of equipment that been put on to the uh, double quanta is probably the my favorite version of all the double uh, MSV lines, so that's why I bought it. Either even though you might say it's unworthy, but anyway, that's not the point. So as usual, <laughs> the sign there's nothing else. So skip to the parts that we're looking at the um, the runners. So we got uh, one package, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine packages, so it should be a pretty long process to build. And we got some. Oh, we're starting with the frame first. We, we're starting to build the frames. Then we, uh, then we uh, snap on all the parts. Interesting. Uh, looks like we got a lot of options to play with. Uh, we got a lot of weapons to play with. Very cool. And uh, at the back, wow. Wow, this is gonna take a long time to put on the markings. Oh. Anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna open up the runner first. So um, it took me a while to open this up because there's a lot of packages, and you know, uh, I'm just gonna start talk about it. So we got two E runners. Uh, I believe this is the inner uh, joint for the. Uh, the MS frame because uh, as I just mentioned in the instruction menu it says the frame you have to assemble the frame first so I believe this too is for the frames we got a B runner advanced joint 7 so this is the whole mobile suit frames uh, yep and then we got a C runner we got some uh, inner parts we got some uh, outside armor parts, we got some uh, feet, we got the head, we got the stand here for the uh, large sword to support. Then we got the I2, two, uh, actually two I2 parts, it's the new part for this release, the premium and release is for the full, uh, is for the uh, GN uh, sword 5, 6, I, I, I don't really remember the number, but uh, anyway, that's the new part in the then we got a eight runner. Uh, we got the uh, we got the head. We got the uh, sh we got the shield. We got torso. We got waist. We got uh, sh we got some clear parts for the blade. We got the uh, GN drive. Uh, we got some yellow part for the torso as well. We got the I one runner, uh, which is a new part for the uh, premium and I release as well. Uh, we got some clear parts. We got some inner frames. We got some uh, GM blade, and this part just ripped off for no reason. <laughs> and we got some other weapon options as well. Next, we got two F runners. Uh, I believe is the outside armor, and it's, uh, it seems like to be just shoulders and the and. The the sword funnels as well. Then we got two D runners. The white part this is the outside armor. Uh, some GN containers, some uh, hands, some knees armor, some uh, and we got two clear parts for the GN uh, containers and blades. Then we got a G runner uh, shield. The the inner shield. Hands and you know some inner details for the joint as well. Lastly, we got two uh, deck house sheet marking sheet. I'm sorry. Uh, so we got a original version and a new newly given uh, deck house. Yep, and it's gonna take a lot of worse because that's the probably a uh, 59 total. Yep, 59 total. So. A lot of work, you know. Uh, I'm gonna see you at the review.
Hello and welcome back to the review of the Double Quanter uh, Full Saver. So this is the finishing of the overall product. I don't know, is it my problem or the actual kit problem? Please uh, comment down below if I say it wrong. For some reason, uh, some parts from uh, my model, so the model that I receive, uh, somehow uh, the left leg here, uh, the back piece, the back armor piece here, um, couldn't uh, couldn't snap it on. I don't know why. And uh, it, it kind of it, it took I took probably like thirty minutes trying to snap on the piece. Uh, it's very funny. The right leg uh, armor piece uh, here. Let me turn around and let's show you. So the armor piece here. Uh, for the for the right leg, I can put it on easily, and for the left leg, no matter how many tries I try to put it on, and it just doesn't work. I don't know. Is it, I don't know. It's my problem or it's the kit problem. So please, if I uh, got anything wrong, uh, please drop a comment down below and tell me. And anyway, uh, I'm gonna start the kit first. Uh, the kit review and um, first couple of opinions. Uh, very good design. I actually like the full sabers. There are lots of ways that you can. Uh, post it and uh, you can have fun with it but this quantum uh, this quantum have a different from the normal is um so the quantum burst for the regular rg double quantum the quantum burst is achievable uh through you know switching around the shield and then you know just uh, snap a couple pieces off but this time the quantum full saber the quantum burst mode uh going to be show because the back the back of the GN drive is actually became like those extra type uh, GN drive is not uh, flat like the uh, quantum, the uh, the double quantum. Sorry, and you know you you know what I mean as I go through the review, and you know I'm just gonna start the review just like the old rules. We're gonna start with the head, but before I start the review, I need to remind you we all know how RG is, we all know RG frames, uh, so please be careful because it's PS. Uh, material so it's just like the polycast is very soft once you over uh, once you messing around with it too much it will eventually start to lose uh, you got some loose joint problem or you know you get what I mean but you know uh, here's about the thing uh, the head uh, move up and down uh, side to side a little bit couldn't really do 360 but here's the thing if you move the head too much it will very easy to come off the depth of the part uh, the you know the parts that connect uh, the head is the depth is not deep enough so if you move up it will easily pop up which is uh, a part of the kit as so I had to complain about it but you know it's fine I never moved the head up anyway so you know I'm fine with it so uh, let's look at the chest so don't expect too much for the chest this is not MG you cannot put a LED light in it unless you're good at customization then uh, I suggest you just don't try this. It's really complicated, but you know. So the overall is uh the the chest piece here is a little slight point here. There's a is connected to the hand. So if the hand moves, the chest piece here will move together as well. Really cool feature though. I really like that. And also, you know, RG as usual uh, give you the detail of the open cockpit. So you move down and then you pull out the joint and then flip it up. You know, nothing too much to look at for the cockpit. This is a RG, this is not a MG, so, uh, you know, don't really have too much detail to show for the uh, the cockpit. So overall, the chest will be looking like this. All right, now we are moving up to the arms. So as you can see, the arms are being a unparalleled um, design. So as you can see, the left hand of the gamble is a white piece. And at the right side, we got a large a um, a blue piece and then you can see on the shoulder uh, we got a uh, unparalleled design so this side reminds me of the Gundam X share and this side is a completely new one so but this time the shoulder is actually doing a good job because you know if I shake around it won't come off uh, very good job about that and uh, and a just a quick FYI the the arms is not using RG frame so it's like the tall geese that I reviewed before, uh, you, you need to re remake it because you know this time the Quanta have a different design for the arms and you know as usual the arms will move around like this. Unfortunately it couldn't move really successfully. Uh, yep. Uh, a, yeah and a, also a information, the white piece on the 
on the right hand is really easy to fail out, so please be careful about it. The hand, uh, sorry, you couldn't move me 360 because both sides have a uh, backpack joint here, so it's blocked in the way, so no way to 360. You know, uh, the hands could be twisting around like this. Uh, it could bend up all the way. Bend, uh, it's a, because it's a large armor, so uh, it couldn't really bend up to a pretty high angle, but you know, it can go up to the shoulder, so pretty good, pretty well, pretty well. And um, the hand, the and the and the hand and the hand down here, you can move around. Uh, it's really tight. It's slightly tight, so uh, you need to be careful when you're moving around. Please don't break it because you know, as I just mentioned, this is PS material. So um, if you use force, it will break. All right, let's talk to him about the way. So uh, front, back, slightly, side, not really, and you know, this time because there's no any interruption, so going 360 is possible. And at the side, the side skirt could be run, uh, move front to the back and uh, slightly up. It's a really poor angle. And the front skirt is basically not even a skirt. Uh, okay, the front waist armor can be moved. And the back as well can move as well. And, you know, that's just basically the waist is. Uh, Alright, so let's talk about like, so side, uh, about 90, front, no problem. 90 as well, back, 90 as well, very good movement, and, um, you know, this time, the legs could, could bend up a pretty good angle, and you can see this, uh, the, uh, the shiny stickers in there, and the back piece here, so, uh, here's the Easter egg that I found, it's not really an Easter egg, I would call it a Easter error, okay, I made it, up. I made it work, so please don't, like, say anything weird, so, this side of the, uh, bed, like, I'm going to put it on, but this side, it's really weird. I couldn't put it on. I have to use like, f I need to force to put it on. So I don't know why. Is it my? Is it the box that I received got a problem, or is it a overall problem? So please let me know if it's uh, my, uh, the the gunpla that I received got this problem, or is it uh, a common problem for the uh, quantum? So you know, the there's a there's an armor there's an armor piece here that you can move, but you know it's it's not really moving too much. It's just slightly moving the legs because you know there's no any interruption for the armor so you can move side side and as usual RG stuff can be moving around as well and you know the legs that I mean the feet could go 360 as well and the whole knees joint could go around about all the way to the back so you can twist around but I'm not sure why you will you I'm not sure why you would do that but you know overall the design looks pretty good and now now. So now let's talk about at the backpack. So the backpack, you know, because this side have a full saber side, so we got a new joint here. Uh, the top, the top and the bottom can, uh, both could be movable as well, and this individual movable at the side here. And you know, this side is the same, but this, but you only can go up, down, and you know, slightly side. So not really much for the for the side for the shield, but for the full saber side, very movable. And you know. This time you find out, oh, the GN drive is different. Why? Because uh, you know, if you know, if you know the settings well, I, I actually didn't, didn't forget how why uh, the GN the GN drive is different. So, I might have to quickly wiki that up later. So, basically, this is this is why you can't uh, create the quantum burst mode because I think uh, it it doesn't fit well. So. Uh, but it does like the, it was just like the original quantum, so you can you can do the you can do the uh, extraction of the GN drive. You simply just unlock this little piece at the side, and then you twist it out, and you can pull it out like this. So you know it's a extractable GN drive, and then you know you can just put it back in, twist it, and then you know put down this trigger, and it won't fall out anymore. You know, very good, very good feature for the uh, extractable uh, GN drive. But as I just said. It requires two, so I don't think why you would do that. <laughs> As usual, we got a lot of handle option for the RG. We got these left hand, uh, open hand. We got the two of the weapon holding hand, and we got the uh, RG full movable hand. But this time they get they give us some special. So, uh, they have a pick in here that uh, you can individually put it on. I don't know can you see it or not. Uh, it's right here. There's a pick here that you can put it on, so you can use this movable hand to, you know, hold on to the weapons. But you know, I recommend. I don't recommend to do that because it's really easy to fall out. So please, I am actually not recommend you to use it. Just use the just use this uh, weapon holding hand to you know help you to create some poses. Because honestly, the movable van is 
uh, it can be trust, okay? So let's talk about the accessory, the weapon. So uh, first we got this, uh, you know, really signature, uh, the Jin Sword. So you can, so you know, uh, it's a, uh, you know, op uh, it's open, it's, it could be open, and you know, it can be closed, and if you, as you can see on the on the side skirt here, I already put on the joint here, so you can you can you can use this joint here to put on the jean sword on the waist. You know, uh, it's pretty stable. It's not moving around. As you can see, the head just fell off again. It's pretty stable. It's not moving around. So you know, it's pretty stable. So now we're gonna talk about the original jean jean shield. So uh, something I need to complain about. Uh, it's not the uh, so it's the design. So as you can see now, it's already starting to become sloppy like look at the GM bits here it's already become sloppy so because you know as I just said it's the piece uh, it's the materials that was soft that's why uh, it's not holding together plus this time you know the the joint is very it give me the uh, it's kind of give me the feeling of blurry like I couldn't understand like where to like currently put it in because there's no you know really clear sound of uh, actually clipped in and all I can do is uh, hope it doesn't fall off, because you know I have the same problem when I was uh, when I got the XG version. So you know this is not MG, so don't expect you know I got some good, you know, um, standing. But you know the GN drive could flip out, so you know is pretty good feature. And the shield, as usual, can be do as the quantum burst mode but sorry that this time the GN drive doesn't match so you don't you can't do the quantum burst mode anymore so you know all the bits here could be uh, you know clearly take it off like this and as you can see the connector piece here is very, it's pretty soft and you know if you keep pulling it out and plug it in it will eventually uh, cause some loose joint problem so please don't uh, mess around with it too much that's just my uh, opinion and as usual you can you can put it on with the uh, jean sword because you know this is kind of like a signature now so whenever we have a jean sword we need to put it on so and now i'm going to quickly show you how to put it on so first you need to you need to uh detach the uh the gm bits so you know gently detached it okay gently detached it because you know it's a clear piece so it's pretty fragile so real easy to snap it off so first uh, we'll need we'll need the uh, the long beads and the sh short bits here and you know all I have to do is just connect it together look this is the closest that I can get to I'm seriously sorry so my jean sword got a problem I couldn't put on the bits for some reason uh, it kept falling off I don't know is it the overall gunplay problem or is it just my problem because when I received the gunplay like this one when I receive it I already have a lot of uh, like those uh, uh, you know joining problem but this time I didn't expect the jeans or will be this, this hard to put it on because you know I try to put it on for nearly I do a short counting I put it on for about 45 minutes try to put it on like this and it couldn't stay stable so I'm not sure it's my problem or is it the uh, already is the gunplay problem so please tell me down in the comments is it the one that I received got the problem or is it a overall problem because I'm not sure about it but you know it will basically look like this but this time back I actually did a good thing and actually give you a stand if you want to do some uh, poses with it so now let's talk about the new parts of the full saber so first I just need to say uh, we do have a pilot figure here just if I forgot to mention about it and now let's move on to the uh, full saber part so as you can see it's just a free uh, really short GM blade plus a uh, main parts and a connector part and you know uh, There's a there, there's a lot of ways that you can mess around with so uh, I'm just gonna quickly introduce to you so if we rip off all three parts and then if we if we turn it I mean if we if we you know move the angle and turn it and then put it back on Just quickly, you know, I'm just gonna quickly do it. Oh. Okay. 
So now this is the GN launcher mode. So as you can see, you just basically flipped around the blade, and then you know you can create this uh, GM, uh, the GN uh, launcher mode. And you know the next mode that I uh, that we got is a called the GN Katamaro. So basically, all you have to do, you know, you basically all you have to do, you just pull the front out. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Be careful. Don't rip it off. Don't rip off the parts. Be careful. Be careful when you're taking it off, just uh, gently take it off, don't pull it. And then, you know, all you have to do, you just, you need a, a, a small connector piece. And, you know, you just basically flip it around and put it on like this. This is the GN uh, Katamo. And next, we got a GN Sword 4 rival mode. So, basically, you just step on one of the blade and done. <laughs> or... If you want, you can change it to the front like this. Uh, yep. And also, we can have a GN gun blade like this, just like individual piece playing like this. Or you can flip it around and then, and then you know, hold it, hold it like that to become a GN blade mode. And you know, just a quick uh, FYI. And the two swords can be connected, as the instruction book said. So let me just try to do it. Uh, really struggling. Then just give me a second. Really struggling about it. Uh, it can be connected like this. So you know you can mess around with it. Just like the GN shield, we can put it on on the shoulders like this. But now after you put it onto the shoulder, basically the whole gunplay's uh, movement will be be taken. Uh, which means the arms will be limited for the uh, moving range. So this is basically the end of the review. Uh, for me, to should you buy it or not? Uh, depend on depend on how much you love the double series because I really like these uh, the design of the full saber. So that's why I bought it. And you know you can mess around with it for the. Uh, I actually think the full saber was more stable than the uh, Gene Shield beats uh, for the uh, Buster Rival or the uh, Large Sword. So I base I am. Very happy about the full saber design, and I'm definitely getting the full saber, not getting anything, not getting the original uh, quantum. So this is basically the end of the review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more contents and for more uh, gunpoint review. And you know, the only thing, the couple things that I would complain about is the uh, first, the back of the legs armor. You know, second, the the shield, uh, the lack of loose joint on the shield. And uh, free will be the head. That's it. That's my complaining. And you know, that's this is the end of the review. And you know, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.